Hello everybody, my name is Alan, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to dribble in Rocket League. So let's get it, but right before we start, make sure to subscribe and turn notifications on, like the video, share the video as well, and join my Discord and follow my other socials like my Twitch, Instagram, and Twitter. Let's get it. So what can you use dribbling for? There's a lot of things. You can turn it into a flick, you can go like that, I guess, score like that. You can turn it into a flick. I'm going to use Bacchus mod, but... If you don't have Bacchus mod, it's alright. I just do. I'm gonna do it since I can just get the ball to me like right away. It's much easier, and I don't need to like reset the ball every time. So you can flick like that. Like that's just a high flick like that, just to, like fake out of the defender. But you can do anything. It's very useful. You can. You don't even need to flick. You can outplay like fake one side. Once you're at a different point where like, you can like, control the ball, you can like turn them around. Uh, one of my favorite things is to do is like drive to like, one side of the net. If, they're, if the defender is not being very aggressive, they like go to one side of the net and then like drift and take a touch like that and then pop it over and then score. It's very easy to do that if I they don't challenge, but it depends on your rank if that's going to happen or not and how aggressive they are. But I would say it's very useful and it's a very good thing to know. I would say it's kind of required to have it if you want to be pretty good at once, I would say. I mean... You see a lot of people like musty flick, this flick, that flick. They do those by dribbling. Well, not always dribbling, but most of the time dribbling. Having the ball on top of them is like the best way to do it. So, the you do not always need the ball right on top of you. It, this is also considered dribbling. You take touches like this. You like to be dribbling like that. You don't need to always have it on top of your car, but it is good to do that to know both. I would say start just taking simple touches, like don't be driving too fast into it. Try and keep the ball close. Don't try and take big touches away from you. Try and keep it close to you. Try and just drive around the map with it. And uh, if you're having trouble ha keeping the ball on top of your car when you do get to that point, I try popping it up on the wall and then just like waiting under it, like here, like that. Popping it up onto your car like this, man. Just driving on it. Don't, don't just go full boost like that and try and keep up with it. Like keep on popping it forward. That is very bad because you're pushing, like you're making the car, the ball faster and faster, and that means you're gonna have to keep on boosting to keep up with it. And then when you need a flick or something, the ball is just gonna like launch in front of you because that it has its momentum going like that, and you just stop yours. And the ball doesn't really care about where you're going most times. So it just launches off into your, off your car and basically just passes the ball to the other team or the defender if you're playing more. So that's why you don't want to fully boost. It's good to use boost like to speed up yourself, but don't just full boost go like that and then do it. Because you know, like that, you'll go too fast sometimes maybe. Like you'll push in front of the ball like that. That could happen. A lot of things can happen with that. And you do that type of thing. So don't fully boost, just tap boost, which is a pretty good thing to know, especially if you want to air dribble to like feather your boost. Like, like, I have mine binded to right bumper, so you can just see. Uh, you, each feather does not need to be like the same amount. Uh, for air dribbling specifically, you can like make some of them longer if you need to get to the ball there or you need, if you want to speed up more but don't fully just hold boost and go no 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 go 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 and just speed 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 you know i would say that's not the best idea always because i mean the ball is just gonna do that so just simple touches like that to get the ball getting touches like this taking simple touches that's gonna help in like a lot of cases getting pretty good at that is gonna help you move, be able to move the ball around pretty well around the field without needing to like launch it and like take big touches to move it and to get free you can so you can get into positions so you can pass the ball take touches that you want and go for mechanics other mechanics but that's just a very simple uh thing to do what the more difficult part of it is like keeping the ball on top of your car using boost brake and turning with it is a very good thing to do because I mean that's the only way you can keep it on. It's on. Uh, for me personally, I don't know if this is really good. I do worse in training when I'm doing it. Uh, 
uh, but in games I feel like I do it a lot better, but you just wanna take a touch over it. You can pop it up on the wall and then it'll drop on your car. Try not to use Bacchus mod too much because uh, I'm trying to do it for everybody, even if people are on console, not only people are on PC. You just wanna drive around. Basically, take it slow. Don't take it too fast. You can boost to do it to like catch up with the ball, but it's okay. So you want to just like roll it on top of your car. So the first step, so there's a few ways how I showed you rolling it off the wall. You can take like a pop it up a little and just get under it and just control. Just break, breaking and turning are the best things to do. You just want to kind of watch the ball, see where it's going. It's going to teach you like how the ball is moving as well, which is very useful for higher rank. If you know how it's going to move then it'll be chilling, you can see the trajectory of the ball. Taking it slow is better. Uh, using different parts of the car can yield different results as well. Uh, using like, on the octane specifically, uh, like, you can see in the middle part between the engine and the spoiler, where the engine is and the spoiler, that's one of my favorite spots because it kind of just like cradles there. It's really easy to do it. But for flat cars, personally when I used to use the Mantis, hey, that was a weird time, don't worry. <laughs> The man this is okay for me, but when I used to use it, it actually taught me how to flick and everything because like, it was so flat, it like kind of taught me how to get the control I needed to be able to do it. So if you do use a flat car, it is pretty helpful for other things, but I mean if you want to try and practice on a flat car, take the challenge, I would recommend it for me. But I already kind of knew how to dribble at that point, I just wasn't very consistent, so maybe don't do that if you're not like super even I would say learn it a tiny bit and then try to do that maybe. Or you can do it either way. Like whatever you want to feel, whatever you want to do with that. It is your choice after all. It is your game. <laughs> but if you want to know how to do anything else, I would like to see what you would want me to show you. Uh, I'm thinking of doing gameplay videos uh, more times a week. Uh, like three, maybe three times a week maybe a trend video and maybe like a challenge video and then maybe if it's for gameplay we'll see what I want to do I don't know if I should go mainly gameplay or mainly tutorial I don't really know what I want to do quite yet but I want to do more gameplay most definitely I have a few challenges I want to do I have two ready that I know I want to do uh, but those will be coming out in a few days but probably gameplay first and then other stuff. I might throw in a few memes in there every so often because uh, I might be busy that one day or I just want to take a little break in Rocket League. But I'm going to try and branch out a tiny bit from Rocket League, try and go for a few games, uh, different games. I'll see what I want to do. I'll see if any uh, anything comes up. Uh, but I'll probably be exploring different games during stream more often times than not. So I'll make sure to stay tuned for those and turn notifications on. And while you're to turn notifications on, you gotta subscribe. So make sure to do that as well. And like the video so the video gets pushed out to more people. Uh, thank you all for watching. Make sure to share the video as well. Make sure to join my Discord and follow my other socials like my Twitch, Instagram, and Twitter. Thank you all for watching. And have a great day. If you have any questions about dribbling or anything, I can help you out to the best of my ability. You all next.